Okay, we're just going to compare a 41 Magnum to a 357. Here's the 41. Three shots. This turns the opposite way of a Colt. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 58. Now we're going to shoot the 357. We have to go back and get it out of the car. We can only have one gun out at a time at this wonderful little range here, Lee County. Here's the 357. The cylinder on a Colt turns the opposite direction as a Smith than a Smith. We'll shoot three of these. Oh man, that kicks every bit as much, if not worse, because it's a lot lighter. It's an old python. They have a hollow lug on the bottom of the barrel. 1964, an old one. So we'll just see. We're shooting at 50 feet. We'll see which one shoots the most accurately both be very devastating. For a personal defense gun. Okay, there is the... I can't tell which is which. There's three from one of them. And there's three from the other one. I think that's the 41 there.
and I think those are the 357. I'm going to have to take another shot with the 357 just to make sure which group it belongs to. But uh, that heavy barreled Model 58, uh, the Model 58 was was made as a law enforcement gun in that it has got a really heavy barrel on it with fixed sights. They never were popular for law enforcement. But I kind of remember that. I had one before and it, it, it really didn't kick very much. This 357 4 inch, man, that kicked. But you can shoot 38s in them. Okay, Grizzly Peterson signing off.